So what do you call a white pig that originated in Chester County, Pennsylvania? The Chester White, of course. I'm Brian with the Hobby Farm Guys, and today I'm going to explain why you should consider the Chester White if you're looking for the right pig breed to raise on your hobby farm or homestead. That alone is probably a good reason to like this video and subscribe to our channel, but we've got lots more spotlights and topics we feature on this channel that you won't want to miss out on. When beginners first inquire about pig farming, they're often steered toward the Yorkshire, Berkshire, or Duroc breeds, and rightly so. These breeds are great for beginners and experienced farmers alike. But the Chester White deserves to make the list as well. It's extremely popular for both domestic and commercial operations. The breed was first developed around 1815 to 1818 in the area of Chester County, Pennsylvania. A large white boar was imported from Bedfordshire, England, and bred with strains of large white pigs commonly found in the Northeast U.S. A judge at a county fair referred to the pig as the Chester County White and the name stuck, although it was later shortened to Chester White. During the 1880s and 1890s, a number of Chester White breed organizations and registries had formed. By 1930, these organizations had come together as the Chester White Swine Record Association, which helped propel the popularity of the breed. In 1997, the Certified Pedigreed Swine Association, or CPS, combined the records of the Chester White, Poland China, and Spotted Pig breeds into one centralized organization. The Chester White is one of the largest breeds, with mature sows averaging 500 to 650 pounds and 550 to 800 pounds for boars. They're all white with medium-sized drooping ears that sometimes droop over the eyes to protect them from the sun. The Chester White is a lard pig that provides a great return on investment. This is not only because of their large size, but because they grow large very quickly. They'll gain over one and a third pounds each day, converting three pounds of feed into one pound of pig. These qualities and more make them very popular for inclusion in commercial crossbreeding plans. And the meat you'll get is of great quality, with just enough marbling to produce juicy and tasty pork your friends and family will love. They're a favorite among butchers too, as they're said to be easy to slice and skin. As far as temperament goes, males can be aggressive and considering their large size, you might need to be careful around them. Females, on the other hand, are known to be quite calm and easy to handle. The sows are very prolific and caring mothers who produce litters of between six and 12 piglets most often. Altogether, the Chester White is considered to be the hardiest of all the white pig breeds. They'll eat pretty much anything. Of course, their white color makes them susceptible to sunburn, so be sure to provide them with plenty of shade and mud to wallow in. Another negative, they're also prone to ailments caused by vitamin C deficiency, such as swollen joints and intestinal bleeding. Well, that's the Chester White, a hardy and large pig that provides a great return on investment. Are you ready to give the Chester White a try? Do you have experience with the breed you'd like to share? Leave your comments below or suggest another animal for us to spotlight there. Until next time, happy hobby farming everyone.